I guess everybody has listened too much about theory, blockchain, prospects, uh, what we're going to do, how we're going to develop everything. Now let's talk about something pleasant, money, yeah, that everybody likes. Um, let me introduce TAS. TAS is a token as a service. TAS is actually the first tokenized closed-end fund uh, that utilizes Ethereum blockchain, uh, cryptographic audits, smart contracts to provide full transparency to its customers. Uh, we all know that investing in blockchain is not an easy thing. Uh, we are coming through many difficulties, like technical barriers of owing, transferring, trading tokens or cryptocurrencies, lack of market understanding. We have been talking a lot. Uh, thank you, Marco. He has dedicated much time to explaining a lot of things and other speakers as well. Uh, still, we have a lot of lack of understanding in the market because why this happens? We have limited information. Uh, we have few expertise on the market. Um, we, we all know what is Bitcoin is, but besides the Bitcoin, there are like about 720 cryptocurrencies and assets that we are specializing in. And for the last two years, we have been analyzing and researching, doing the proper work to get as much information as possible and to implicate that in our system and implicate that in our model. Next, lack of transparency in existing solutions. We are talking not even about the blockchain market, but also the traditional market. We're going to come back to that point a bit later. Limited investment instruments. We are pretty sure that there are a bunch of instruments in traditional market, but unfortunately, there are only few in blockchain market. Absence or low regulated market. We can talk about that from dawn till dusk, about SEC, about MAS, about everything. But still, the situation is remaining almost the same, but we, ha we see the positive moves in Japan, in Poland, in Sweden, um, hopefully in Dubai, in Dubai as well, sorry. We can see that the rise of uh, blockchain market, excluding Bitcoin, within the last year was about 300%. And as of today, it is not only 2.1 billion. As of today, if I am not mistaken, the altcoin market is about 3.65 billion. So it's incredible amount. So to cope with all these problems, uh, we provide certain solutions. The goal is to provide our customers with the mutual benefits by means of a professional approach in investing in blockchain only, by means of market making and trading operations, as well by means of cryptographic audit. This is an in-house tool that provides uh, the, that allows everybody, irrespective of whether he has token or not, to see the, uh, to provide the full transparency. Uh, by means of smart contacts, con uh, smart contracts, uh, consistent and anonymous profit sharing. Uh, this is autonomous. This is autonomous system that provides uh, owners distribution payout, payout distribution. And as well, Kepler. This platform is coming very soon. We're going to talk about that later. So how it works? We are working only with the blockchain markets. So we are operating through Bitcoin with all the other altcoins. Uh, we are working only on trusted exchanges like Kraken, Polonix, Bitrex, etc. Uh, the business model is quite simple. 50% of profits that the fund generates is automatically distributed through smart contracts. So we are not talking about smart contracts. That is something that's going to happen. It's already happening. It's already in place. 25% of the profits is reinvested back into the portfolio. That enables us not to raise extra funds. It increases the portfolio, and it adds the liquidity to the token itself. Besides that, we have the reserve fund that at the very beginning is equal to 10%, but is going to be increased to 30%. It is hatched in BTC, 
and serves as a low-risk portfolio. We can see the still Bitcoin as a low risk. Um, it can serve as well as the, uh, it adds the, the, the payout liquidity in the moments where the closing position is unadvised or where the market is surviving some turbulence. So we can use the reserve fund for that. Our investment strategy and tools uh, we are going to deploy, and we are deploying actually right now, uh, the number of investment tools uh, due to which we are generating profit. Uh, one of them is a long-term cyclical investments. Uh, you know that the, there is a cycle in uh, altcoin market. If you have a look within the last two years, you can obviously see that. It is going to be cross-exchange arbitrage is a new feature that hasn't been deployed by anybody yet. Uh, is gonna is growing, arbitrage is growing, and we're gonna get the maximum out of it, providing cross arbitrage, algorithmic swing trading, and as well derivatives. Derivatives is a small market, but still we have to pay much attention to that. Besides that, the portfolio will be managed, will be uh, accumulated within a set of different kind of coins. We are talking about large cap coins. Definitely, they're going to take a large part. And as well as um, small cap coins. If we pay attention to this graphic, we were excluding over here seven outliners that were performing last year from 5,000% plus up to 50,000% in growth. We excluded these outliners in this graphic and we took into account major 100 altcoins, and we got 300 plus return last year. So how cryptographic audit works, and why do we need that? Not to go to technical details, details because they are really boring and unnecessary. Uh, what it does, it provides full transparency. This is going to be the first tool implemented ever that will provide full transparency for token owners and will allow them to validate the trading history to see the snapshots of exchanges, where the funds are based, the balances of the uh, exchange accounts and non-exchange accounts as well. It's going to be lifetime. It's going to be uh, on blockchain, on, on Ethereum blockchain. So there will be no need in extra auditory firm to audit the company. And actually, it helps as well for us to get ready when the regulatory comes to action. How smart contracts works. As I earlier said, the 50% of the profit the fund is generated is going to be distributed automatically to the token owners. So we are all not involved with a human factor. We should not worry about, OK, this one gets less, this one gets more. We all had that problem. So this is the decentralization point we are deploying in. But the very important thing, we are not having the open smart contracts. So not to have the same problem that DAO had before. We have it closed, not accessible actually to the public. Kepler. Kepler is a Bloomberg-like platform that actually covers full uh, investment cycle, starting from research, analytics, uh, order management, and moving all the way down to the risk, ex risk exposure, um, and, and actually forecasting, performance forecasting. Um, Kepler platform will be, we have already a lot of material within the last two years that have been analyzing, doing our researches. Uh, we are building it ourselves. The M MVP is already in making. So it's going to be delivered in the late, uh, in the end of this year. Uh, the funds we're going to use only from our profit that the fund generates. Here is the team. You see me, you see Konstantin Pesarenko. Uh, we have been working together for the last eight years. In the, from east to west in Africa, deploying fintech projects, geotech projects, uh, working in America, working in uh, Eastern Europe, 
uh, Marx and Dmitry, uh, the guys over here, uh, as well co-founders, they have been working with the uh, private, uh, with the trading and analytics within managing private assets for the last couple years. Uh, Dmitry has graduated from San Francisco, and you see not everybody is going to Silicon Valley, somebody is going from there. Um, Andrew, uh, managing director, he has been working for, um, he's uh, actually the member, founding member of Bitcoin Foundation Ukraine, and uh, uh, has been ruling, uh, has been executive director for Warsaw Stock Exchange. So he's helping us actually very much. This is our technical team. Andrew Zamovsky has been working, is a chief blockchain architect, has been working for Tether and other cryptocurrencies, crypto projects. Um, the, the team is actually, majority of them is based in San Francisco. Uh, they're helping us a lot with the smart contracts and uh, cryptographic audit. Um, Matvey is our junior data analyst. Uh, Alexei uh, is actually, <coughs> Alexei. Olga is our marketing uh, CMO, wonderful girl. This is a board of advisors. We are adding a couple more. We haven't managed to do that yet, but uh, Sergey is working for World Bank. Uh, David Waxman is our PR company. Uh, John Wong has been working for Lehman Brothers and consulting us in traditional VC. Uh, this is Nazar, our legal partners. We've got the new legal partners from United States, so we manage all, everything properly for, um, for the SEC. Yeah, um, these are Pascal and uh, Patrick, uh, new partners that are based in Switzerland. Roadmap. As you see in October, the concept development started. Um, white paper was published in late December um, from, I forgot to say that the uh, coin sales, that the initial coin offering will take place starting from the 26th, 27th of March and will continue one month till the 27th of April. So in July, we are expecting the first uh, payout period. As I said, it's quarterly based and in the end of the year, we're expecting better version of uh, better release of Kepler. Uh, we decided to do the fundraising, uh, the capital raise actually for operations through initial coin offering, due to many reasons. Um, is more accessible, is more open, and for uh, and is actually more fast. Yeah. Uh, how will it look like? The token distribution, 100% of tokens that are issued, and maximum amount is actually 1 million, uh, 101 million that is going to be issued, 100% is going to be distributed to the public. Whatever we sell, all the rest is going to be burnt, so it's going to be visible on blockchain. The use of proceeds after ICO is over is audited by HLB International. So where we are using, so we are not buying Lambo or we are not doing this thing, we are investing in the portfolio as we declared in the white paper and all other documents, 75% going to be dedicated to the main portfolio and 10% at the beginning is a reserve fund. Up to 15% is for our legal operations, further development, marketing, etc. This is ICO bonus system. Um, that ends up, is, is decreasing proportionally and ends up with a 9,000 BTC. If you calculate it in regards to all the tokens to be issued, the dilution is about 1.5%, if I am not mistaken. So summarizing all that, TAS is the first tokenized ever closed-end fund that is dedicated only to blockchain. Uh, the business model is clear. The 50% is quarterly paid out to the uh, token owners by smart contracts. 25% is reinvested back to the portfolio, so there is no need in uh, uh, drawing external capital. 
reserve fund hedged in BTC and is equal from 10 to 30 percent. The token is traded all major exchanges. And we have already the negotiations with a couple exchanges, and we have the confirmation, for example, from, with the Litecoin, one of the largest uh, altcoin exchanges, that are going to provide us uh, with a placement starting from ICO. We are we as well talking to Kraken and Polonix, and going to get the results from them quite soon. Uh, due to cryptographic audit, this is a unique feature that will set up a new standard hopefully to upcoming ICOs. To use it, you show the full transparency. We are living in the world that everybody is caring much about security, security, how to hide things. Why not to go the opposite side? Why not to show the things so you have nothing to hide? This is the policy of Task Fund. Due to smart contracts, the token owners receive the dividends automatically, quarterly based, without dealing with any problems or just uh, hurdles or whatever. Kepler Intelligent Investment Platform is coming in the end of the, this year. Thank you very much for your attention.